and we will be going straight up live with the first match here plenty of good teams plenty of loud mouth action here and uh oof, there's a lot at stake to be honest with this uh with this uh, matchup here in week number four in the awesome premier league yeah they know he's here right now raptor he's in big trouble he's solo all alone with uh he with alliance this is team alliance by yeah. the way odin thor vz and them uh bearing down on him very strong team he's gonna get into the vehicle try to make a fast break but already we do see players find him raptor drops very very low only a shotgun in hand and just like that odin thor oh. will just open the door uh vz coming in from behind just in case to support he had no chance there oh yeah so we do have a lot of congestion in this period in this part of the map we also Ooh. we also see the pittsburgh knights that is slim and survivor skills going on the right and left hand side actually oh. this is this is a flaming dacha slim is forced to jump out he's also separated from his team this is very very dangerous for him you can see he peaked a little bit but you can't peek too much there man because if he gets knocked out he's a hundred percent done for just barely slipping into the building Wow. And now a here push. comes an aggressive push from Odin. Let's see how this one pans out. This is a very aggressive push indeed. I don't know if he knows all these players are here. He's going to go for the UMP around the corner. He's going to get Matthew as well. But does he know how many players are in here? There's actually two in here still. Uh, so I'm surprised that he's going for this because it's very dangerous. But still, Odin Thor, very confident ability in his ability. He's going to go for Trolls. Look at Sigzy though from behind. Here he is. They don't know he's here. He takes out Trolls. He has a, an angle on Painkiller as well. Crossing the corner, and that's it for that oh. squad. That's that's it. They they wiped him very cleanly. Done great execution by Alliance. And we're going to be seeing how the next circle closes in. Let's have ourselves a looksy poo because I'm quite curious to see how many of these teams are going to be forced to get out of their compounds. Oh, wow. oh looks like well, plenty of them will be forced. But about half and half, I'd say. So the question is, oh no, actually Zampa was caught by Ewan coming out. So it's just going to be Envy versus Zampa. Who's going to win the 1v1? Oh. It looks like it's going to be Envy. Beautifully done. They're it's... going to have to make their way inside of it. Oh, here comes Frex. Moody. Oh, taken, being taken down. What's going on here? Looks this like... is absolutely insane. Like they're they're, they're pushing fighting out. off at the edge of the blue. And the blue is going to be biting them that much harder. This is a bit of a leak. Oh, oh, grenade. Oh, he comes in. Incredible. There. A great deal of damage Look here. Look at Gaxi, though. Position. He's flanking yeah, around the side. Oh. He just needs to get solid FPS now. Oh. That was a that was actually a really nice duck. He now has taken solid FPS by surprise, but he does get knocked out. Just finishing off a player now. He does have to take out Nibs Lol around the tree. NBS Lol. He will get him. So now it's just Pybus once again. He can see him clearly. This might be it. Solid FPS will finally take it. Wow, that was that was quite a fight. Is Envy gonna, going to take some shots? He needs to wait for the perfect moment because he is all alone here. Look at this. He does see the players finally. He's going to manage to take out Energetic Turtle and immediately retreat. Yeah, he couldn't take the rest of that fight for sure. Absolutely not, but here comes the nade. Oh, the nade, yeah. And there, it's a perfect one. Great and that nade. AT comes in with the perfect cook. This guy, give him a bonnet and a kitchen because he knows how to cook a nade. Looks like one of our teams has uh, wrapped around the side. It was going to be, it is going to be Kingwin. This has already go down, gone down. We're just up to Halifax now. He does see Layden. Does he choose to take some shots, though? He's very low. He's surrounded on all sides. Could this be the end for them? Yes. Looks like TSM will be shut down. Really interesting. Wrap around by Kingwin. It took them completely by surprise. Absolutely, and Team Kingwin are going to be the ones that make their way from the north end. In the meantime, it's going to be Arcticus that try to gather up some resources toward the upside of their building. But oh, Liquid Haze does commit with some nice pranks. It's going to be so sick that gets killed. And his teammate trying to get in there. Liquid Haze is going to be going for the hunt. Oh, oh beautiful shot him. indeed. With the S1 a S1A, he's going to get himself a nice handy headshot there. Going to finish this. Look at this, VZ and Roms trying to make their way past Fuzzface. He's not going to have any of it, though. VZ is going to go down. Roms forced to come out of his vehicle, and there's just no way. All of Kingwin bearing down. Kingwin, I've got to say, this team has been doing so fantastically all game long. But let's go back to Liquid here and Articus as these teams are forced to push out. West is going to be one of you wanting Haze with UMP. Takes it out. No damage taken either. Well done by him, but he has to reload now, and oh. that's going to be the end of him. Liquid will come out on top of that with two players remaining. Can they get up Larson though? They they really should, but Ibiza, ooh, he takes a lot of damage trying to get... And Fuzzface takes a lot of damage as well trying to get to that tree. So Kingwood, they're looking in big trouble. They're just down to Layton. Can Fuzzface get the res himself? I'm not sure that's possible. Ibiza tries oh to make gosh. his way for his teammates, and it looks like they will get a res indeed, but the circle is going to start to struggle right about now. So I don't favor the chances of Ibiza and his boys there. Ibiza already taken a heck of a lot of damage. You can see the circle biting chunks out of him. First aid will be used. 
Oh, he's right holding on to the angle there. Wow. Oh, he's gonna get knocked out himself. That's uh, that's quite interesting. Sliv. No, Biza, he's dead. A... Yeah. Different. There you go. The end of the squad. If we take a look, the circle does favor Hypic right now for Rockets. But look at this. Yuki with a wide flank around. He can technically see a, the Rockets player on his screen. But the grass was just was just too much. But look at this flank like around. That. He has a perfect angle. This is Theater of Mayhem, by the way, that's being borne down upon x -Pris. Oh, oh, nice save. Really brilliantly done by, by Hypic, I guess. Good job. He's a, he's a celebratory member, I guess, of Theaters of Mayhem. So now it's just going to be up to Hypic. He, he can maybe hold down this circle all by himself. It's possible. It is possible indeed. And with him actually downing one enemy and with these two teams not still not knowing where, where uh, Hypoc is shooting from and with him being on the safety of the circle, he might just have a very handy chance at this one. If they make this one on a 2v2 with those two squads, then it's going to be easy for or easier for Hypoc to get himself something. But now it does look like there is a team coming in to the safety there. As the circle is drawn closer and closer, oh, Hypoc might careful. just get killed by Shiv. He needs to be so, so careful. Shiv is coming oh. around from behind. Also, Hypoc just... Uh, put it some shots out, but no, that's gonna be an Avenger will be the one to finish off that kill. Smokes come out in all directions, really limiting these players' vision, but Avenger will manage to get to the tree in time before Shiv can land those final few bullets. Avenger, by the way, the last player alive he's, for Theater of Mayhem. Safe. And that's it. Yeah, he's not safe. He wasn't even the blue. Oh! So that's going to be it. Beautifully done <laughs> by Evolve to close that game out. 14 kills to them. There we go. Much better playing trajectory east to west, covering pretty much the entirety of the north side map. So uh, we'll see a very, very nice and even split. And, and actually, it's going to be Chappy, who's on the second floor of this house that's currently oh. completely sworn. Oh, he's going to do that? Is he going to do it? Dropping down for the wide flank around, but he can't find where they are, really. They're all in here as NBS has gone down. Valens with the UMP gets one, two. He gets, that's a triple kill so far before he gets knocked out. Oh, this is just a trade for trade right now. It's going to be Pybus against Frez. Green 9 up against Frozen East. Oh! And it will be Pybus, the one that takes the final frag. One step in the wrong direction could be death. He's about to see G-Thang cross by the fields. That's an easy kill for him. And Wes is actually going to go down too to Ardier, Dracius, Dracius' teammate. So just like that, Articus, they're having a great time. They're having a swell time here, even a party in Primorsk. Hey, let's have a barbecue outside. But suddenly, bam, two dead just like that. To, to yeah, take they're, not, they're not quite looking. Oh, never oh, mind. They, they are. are Energetic Turtle and Icy are. Zampa gets Ooh. dropped very, very low. Wow, that was so, so close. But Zampa will survive with just a fraction of an HP bar. I don't even know how he's still alive. Oh, no, one. but, but Envy. Envy will get downed by Anti Power, and they're going to be holding on to that angle there as well. As Greek Porn Hornet is going to be uh, sticking close. Oh, my God. No UI way. Oh, Whoa. some fresh shots coming in from Andy Pyro on a bit of a different footpath. He will be grouping up with his uh, teammate, but so sick with the HP on oh. this guy, and now he gets knocked out indeed, and that knockout not going to be coming in handy. Gage Man won't have a chance to rest his uh, teammate. Oof. If they move in right now, it's going to be quite a bloodbath against Team Method. Uh, they, they don't seem to be moving in just yet. And now the blue is uh, will be taking that much more damage for Team Forza. What's going to happen here? Can Pybus have time to... Well, they will have time to heal, but can they move in? They've oh, got plenty NBS. of smokes. Look at his health. Oh, oh. he's going to go down. That's unfortunate. So now they're going to have a, a difficult time making their way in. Grenades out all around, but they need to come in. I mean, they, they need to get in. I don't know. The circle, I guess, is, is weak enough now that they can get NBS lull up. They're going to go duck hunting right now. Even though the smokes are going to be deployed, their smokes are going to be withering away quite soon. And here comes the first frag out of Energetic Turtle. He spots another one, taking the second one down. Fantastic performance out of him. But Bellas' teammate is quite close to him. However, Pybus, I don't favor his chances. I don't know if they're they're gonna be going for the compound. They're they're pretty sure that there's enemies currently in the jumping house where they're they're, oh, where they're yeah. heading towards quite an open battle. There's not a lot of cover here, and as we say that, we can see Hanavas coming in with a nice shot there. Sir Vox has been taken out, and uh, whew, this is a very very handy performance right now for uh, for TSM as they're going a bit forward there. They're going a bit aggressive. Halifax might just make his way closer to nade range. That he does indeed. Sir, for the driver taking oh, so many shots, and with that right nade there. coming in there, that might just be a Kobe. And there you go, he will be knocked out in quite a bit of, uh, of, of trouble as he really has no cover. But look at that, Fuffins is going to be able to get the kill onto Painkillers. So now it's just Trolls that's remaining. Can he, get, can he get up his teammate though? That's the question. It's so important to not be a solo player when you start getting into this late game. Down here in the south, we do see Team Kingwin going around, looping around Liquid. Oh no, this rock is their only cover. He's so close, but oh. oh. 
got taken out by... Who took him out there? It was something from across the way. So many bits of crossfire here. These players can't move at all. Looks like they've spotted themselves some enemies, but they're going to have to make their way soon. And by the edge of the next blue... And oh, oh, that's it. Ultra from behind uh, in a building. It's going to be able to take out the last of them. Matthew, oh, lots of bars in the way there. So Ultra not able to land any shots. Ibiza and his teammates trying to make their way. Oh! It's going to be Ibiza that comes in with a handy frag. Doom will be wiped out. And that's going to be the end of Liquid indeed. Jemsey and Haxede, do they know of these players behind, behind them? There are players shooting them from another, from another direction, taking out the UAZ. But a grenade will take them very, very low. Does Hetchward and them know that they're up here? No, I... Something might, but another grenade is going to take out Jempty. They see that, and that's their chance to push forward. Yeah, something's going to be prone and in. He doesn't really have a chance to do anything else there. Car exploded close to him, and currently, in the one team that has a full lineup, it is indeed Method. Coming in from the south angle there, it's got to be G-Core sandwiched in here. Oh, and something no. is going to be spotted this enemy there. Here comes another squad wiped out. Something does manage to get himself a hand frag, but now he is not very much with his teammates. His teammates have, have been knocked out, and it will be indeed Team Method that are currently still in the favorable position, trying to make their way into the next one, and they do, and that will be indeed GG for team method for the second match as Daisy finds a frag and energetic turtle with the last one great performance out of them i'm very very excited uh are the third game is always the best because the teams get to warm up a little bit the first game is usually filling each other out even though they play a lot right but still the first game is usually a game where teams are still getting up to speed the second game fantastic the third game really really shows what these teams can do and already we actually see a team go military mm, we do already have solid fps yeah they've seen him 100 percent halifax is in there i hope he finds something good hope he finds like an entire kit here it's just gonna be a mini uzi though Halifax, I'm not too sure if we've seen any armor on him. Oh, he he's not going to have an easy time. So he, oh, actually, yes, he did. Wow. UAZ, and he's got to get the crap out. Oof, taking a bit of a damage here, but he's still alive, and that's what matters. He got out. I can't believe it. That was, that was some slippery snake uh, action oh, yeah. there by Halifax. Managing <laughs> to get out. That UAZ, perfect. It's basically his savior, right? He was praying Where's to. Where's the rest of... Uh... Oh, oh, and he's oh. currently getting shot on as well. Oh my god, just a sliver it's of West. Oh, oh, no. no. West from Articus. That takes him out of the game. Let's see where how, how the rest of TSM are faring. TSM having a bit of a rough start here, and I I, I, I really must say, this is kind of an unlucky situation to, to start things off like this. Yeah, and you see teams also making their way inside the safety of the next one. Shiv is going to be watching on the bridge as currently a gorilla car are trying to make their way in there, scrambling around, and they will be stopping there. So Shiv might just find himself in an unfortunate position. That's why you see him making his way out of there. He does have the rifle power, but he doesn't have the support of his teammate either on the inside of the compound or somewhere happy on the outside. Well, there you go. That's exactly what happens. If you go late into it, then you're going to get knocked the crap out. And it's going to be surgery that comes in with some handy frags with a vehicle explosion actually that dash is going to be blowing up there uh, great effort by the pittsburgh knights don't look to be firing now they do some handy shots found against miniman and now he, he comes down oh. to that one well it's going to be blue who that actually knocks him out blue who actually getting a little excited there dealing a couple of points of damage to something more than a couple actually taking out almost his entire health bar but still they got the kill in the end outside of uh, of the hill specifically but oh look at this one all right this are you going to be engaging in a combat engage man just barely avoiding getting run over now up to break to come in here and res his teammate. Is he safe? Is this game safe? Res um, have to pay respects. Hopefully he's got to be able to get rest. Yeah, I think so. I, I don't know about that. No, no, no he's, he's not. not. Absolutely Oh, that's not. unfortunate. That is unfortunate indeed. Oh, well, it's just going to be up to break right now, I suppose. Wow, this is, uh, these teams just inches away from seeing each other on all sides. Sir Survivor, he actually peeks up a little bit, takes a little bit of damage. He needs to be careful of these players flanking around the side, however. That is Larson and Ibiza. Great flank around by them. This could be tremendous if they can get the angle here. They peek over, but no, Sir Dre is right there to spot them. There you go. Whew. Still, this battle will be going forward there. Sir Dre and Sir Survivor. Oh, actually, Sir Survivor gets knocked out. Sir Dre is low on health. Cannot go for the rest. Now finally uses a first aid kit as Larson peaks above. But there's nobody denying uh, him that beat. So he can come outside just a bit more handily enough just to get the final kill onto uh, Sir Survivor. And that he does indeed. 
Oh my Oof, gosh. This, this is, is dangerous. Yeah, this has gotten really complex here. We do have Jansen and the rest of the squad making their way from behind. Are they going to see each other? Do they even know? I mean, they must have heard the gunshots, right? Let's take a look at the x-ray here. He does see Fuzzface pop over the corner, but no. The reaction time is just too good from Kingwin. They will take out RDR, but the rest of his team, they're definitely not going to let this go without any sort of response. Grenades, flashes, everything. Oh. Throw the throw the farm over there, too. Why not? Yeah, indeed. It's going to be Team No Loot Gaming coming in with this approach, but Tracy's going to get knocked out himself, and now Jansen, can he stay alive for long enough? Outsider does manage to get himself a handy Frank, so... They're just out of two players. They can't afford to lose another one. Meanwhile, Kingwin has only lost one. Outsider drops very, very low, but he does manage to get... Oh, no, that was actually... That was Sir Dre who got the kill on Soleil, and they've identified the situation. They figured out that something's wrong here, so they're pushing from behind. Kingwin, they're really stuck. No, actually, just Larson just left Larson. alive. Yeah. Yeah, and he might just try and make his way out of this one because he's going to be covered in with that much more action with Pentasports so close to him as well. Prone's in, not going to be... Uh, well, he's going to be behind the cover of that rock just to the left of him, and that will see him outside of this uh, oh. this battle. I don't really figure out what He might have a bit of an element of surprise, but he doesn't look like to be doing too much with it. Sir Swing is going to be coming yeah, in from the opposite it. side, and that's going to be West taken out of the game. Game Currently, though, there is a battle going on. Up here we do see Pony Rider and the rest of uh, the and the rest of the team. Looks like they found Froz. This is really rough. James is down as well. Who's even left here for Penta Esports? It's just Simsy. He's stuck behind a rock now, taking a tremendous amount of pressure. This is Theater of Mayhem, pinning them down. Now he's going to be using a nade. That nade might just come in handy enough there. A bit of a damage taken by Ryder, but now he's going to be prone again and healing himself, which allows Simzy to go in for a second one, oh, and this but... might just be the closer. But Katastic is also moving in. Oh, Fantastic. there you go. Bit oh. Of... Beautiful knockout. Beautiful knockout indeed. Katastic will have to approach this one from a different perspective. Simzy's still alive. But no, he's holding on by a thread. There's a grenade. It's a little bit short, though. By the way, no helmet here on Simzy which is going to make these 1v1s really, really tough. He's going to try to go around the rock. The grenade forces him out a little bit, but now his position is 100% known that the oh. grenade will finish it off. So they might just get themselves swarmed in. Plenty of action happening now in the trenches. Oh my gosh. In they go. Explosion on the on the motorcycle, but from behind, Bluehu will be able to finish that off. Hetroar. Whoa, look at Hetroar's HP bar. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. Man. Yeah, that, that actually works out in the Ooh. favor of Express. Ooh, but not anymore. As Andrew takes him out with the SKS headshot clean on him. Yeah, well, fantastic. Looks like looks like he's trying to make his escape in a UAZ. <laughs> he's like checking Gunner there, but Gunner looks like he's stuck or something. Oh, oh yes, no. he is. He's, he's just no. yeah, staying here. His tires popped. His tires popped. That's what's happening here. He has no chance, so he has to use a first aid kit. Will he be able to do just that? It looks like Gunnar does manage to get the frag against Katastic. Still plenty of players on the outside of the blue, and this one bites hard. Yeah, look where the circle is, though. Break the circle. No, he gets the first. Oh, Ewen is stuck in that shack oh, right now. Grenades that's... go in. Flashes go over. Oh, that was so close. Some shots go in as well from Andy to knock out one of the G-Corp players, and it doesn't look like uh, there's many left. Just one of them still alive in that kind of confrontation. Andy Pyro taking damage himself. It does look like he came from the compound there. Was it? No, it was Comet, actually, that knocked him out. But Meter dies down. Let's see if Andy will get himself uh, rezzed by his teammates, as now so many teams are currently trying to make their way inside of it. TSM Ring still alive somehow. Finally, he's going to be put to sleep by Odin Thor. But a fantastic performance to get this late into the game, considering that his teammates weren't with him for most of us. Oh yeah, so now this is it, Raptor to Raptor. He's sitting on the side, making his way in. Who's even left in this game? It's just Icy and Haxede. Wow, that was like 20 okay. players down to nothing. But no, Haxede, one more. Oh, oh he's too far out. And just like that <laughs> method, taking a commanding control over that final circle. And that's two in a row for them, two first places.